Thousands of Argentine protesters gathered in front of the president's office in Buenos Aires on Wednesday, demanding better incomes, state aid, and a meeting with the new Argentine Minister of Economy. Argentina faces one of the highest inflation rates in the world, with a year-on-year -year rise in prices climbing to 64%. Sergio Massa, Argentina's new economy minister, took office a week ago in an attempt by President Alberto Fernandez to straighten out the economy and combat rising prices. Organizers of the protest demanded that the Argentine government grant a 20,000 peso bonuses to low-income people and improve the quality of the food supply to the hundreds of soup kitchens run by social organizations. Hundreds of Bulgarians took to the streets of the capital Sofia Wednesday, voicing fears that the country's caretaker government could break with the policies of its pro-Western predecessor and revert to close energy ties with Russia. The second in a planned series of protests took place in front of the presidential building in Sofia, and organizers say they want greater accountability from the caretaker cabinet, insisting that Gazprom must cease to be Bulgaria's only gas supplier. Many European Union and NATO member Bulgaria fear that the previous pro-Western government was toppled in June because of its hard stance against Russia's invasion of Ukraine and its refusal to pay Russian energy giant Gazprom in rubles, Russia's currency. The first public statements made by the current caretaker government, appointed by President Rumen Radev, indicates that Bulgaria could restart talks with Gazprom to avoid natural gas shortages later in the year. In late April, Russia cut off gas supplies to Bulgaria, the European Union's poorest nation, after it refused a demand by Moscow to pay gas bills in rubles.